Morning, Simon. Morning, Wyatt. Walk around. Morning, Timothy. Morning, Hernan. Morning, Aya. Morning, Layla. Morning, Daphne. Good morning, Kenneth. Good morning, Aixa. Good morning, Gisela. Morning, Nina. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, Awais. Morning, Aiden. Anyone else? All right. Make sure that you're reading the board as you come on in. There's some information for you and a do now to get started on. All right, for your do now, on your note card, list three to five things that motivate you, things that inspire you to do your best and give, it all, give all your motivation. So come up with three or more things that motivate you, that make you want to try your hardest, that make you want to succeed. I still see some people writing. Just give me a thumbs up once you come up with at least three things. I know that when I know my friends are watching, I'm motivated to try a little harder. So my friends motivate me. If you need more time, show me with your fingers how many more minutes you might need. A thumbs up if you're finished, one finger up if you need one more minute. All right, looks like most of us are done. So I'll just give you maybe 30 more seconds because it's all a couple fingers up. We're going to do a quick table share. So at your table, I want you to share the following. What is a responsibility that you have at home or school that you don't enjoy doing? And if I go back to the previous slide, I could see I listed some examples of things that I don't enjoy doing but I have to do. So I love cooking, but I don't like doing the dishes. Whoever has the longest hair at your table shares first. And for some of you, it might be tricky because a lot of you have similar length hair. I have to cut my hair so your cards where you wrote down the things that motivate you you're going to hold on to these cards we're going to use them later in our activity so just keep them somewhere safe at your table but in a moment we're going to get up we're going to do a four corners activity in a moment. We remember how to do a four corners activity. And in case you don't, I want to just give a quick reminder. I'm going to give a sentence or a question that has multiple choice answers. And you can see that our corners are labeled A, B, C, and D. You're going to go to the corner that best fits the answer to the question that I ask you. All right, so first question, I am least motivated by or I'm least inspired by Corner A, pressure from my family. Corner B, pressure from my teachers or coaches if you're on the team. Corner C, uh, pressure I put on myself. And corner D, pressure put on by my friends. And I'm going to have one person from each corner share. So I'll give you about 30 seconds. Talk about why you picked that corner and I'll have each corner share. You made a mistake? You went to the wrong corner? Yeah. All right. So which corner do you think, so I'll remind you of the corners again. That's family, that's teachers, that's myself, and that is a friend. All right. So you've had some time to discuss this in your corners. I want one person from this corner to share, or one partnership from this corner to share, and one person from this. Uh, see some hands up already. Uh, Wyatt. Um, so like I like I pressure myself to do things that shouldn't be hard at all, like a test that test that probably is pretty easy. I'll I will trust myself out so much to think it's hard and would just give up. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes I sometimes like I stress myself so much that like I don't even want to do like homework and stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you're saying that the pressure you put on yourself actually hurts yourself. Yeah. Okay, great. Think about what is your least favorite subject. Go to the corner of your least favorite subject. So a quick reminder, A is math, B would be ELA, language arts, C would be social studies, and D would be science. And I won't judge you if you pick science. Going to a corner doesn't mean you hate that subject. It just means that it's your least favorite. It doesn't mean that you're mad at the teacher. It has nothing to, doesn't reflect on the teacher. It reflects on the subject matter itself. 
keep in mind your least favorite subject, I want you to write that subject down on the back of your index card. So go back to your seat and write down the subject on the back of your motivation index card. What I want you to do is I want you to think about the subject that you wrote on the back of your card. On the other side of your card were things that motivate you. To really put it all together and reflect on what we did today, I want you to circle one of the things that motivated you on the other side of your card. Circle one thing that could help you make that subject more enjoyable. So if you said science was your least favorite subject, circle one thing on the other side of your index card that could help you enjoy science more. So spend some time, write that down. And then once everyone at your table has circled the thing that motivates you the most, you could then share if you wish to. All right, we just have a few minutes left of class. Would anyone want to share out loud what they could do to stay motivated in their least favorite subject? Ooh, got a lot of hands. Layla. Um, my least favorite subject is social studies, and I said brain breaks motivate me because they give me a nice break, and they make me want to work more. All right. To wrap up this reflection, I'm glad we were able to think about what motivates us and to think about what subjects we might struggle with and connecting the things that we struggle with with the things that motivate us to help us out to know that we all have these different challenges that we face but we're not in it alone we have other people who face a similar challenge and we could find the things that motivate us to succeed in these challenges